everyone, it's Mackenzie here, and today I'm going to talk about the Ujjayi breath or Ujjayi Pranayama. So it's also known as the ocean sounding breath or victorious breath. And this is another pranayama or breath control breathing technique. And um, it, had, it has lots of different benefits. So some include energizing and also calming at the same time. It helps to anchor your mind because you create kind of that ocean sound that your brain and mind can focus on. Um, it also then causes you to internalize your awareness and it oxygenate, oxygenates your blood and allows for a complete exchange of air in the lungs. It also massages the digestive organs and can really enhance the experience of asana. So during practice, if you can kind of focus on this breath, it will allow you to maybe hold poses for a little bit longer or deeper when you're focused on that sound of breathing and um, can internalize your awareness that way. So um, the only time this might not be a great breathing technique is if you have throat or sinus irritation or inflammation or, or lung infection. So with the Ujjayi breath, we'll be inhaling through the nose and then eventually also inhale, or exhaling <laughs> out of the nose. So I'll kind of walk you through this and we'll practice uh, a few rounds of this breathing technique. So, the idea with Ujjayi breath is that we are, are making this ocean sound. So first we'll just kind of calm the body, roll the shoulders, just release, maybe even close down the eyes. Find a natural seated position where your spine can be nice and long. Just tune into your natural rhythm of breath. And after your next exhale, breathe in deeply through the nose and then open the mouth, release the jaw. And as you exhale, start to create kind of a ha sound, a little ha. Might seem kind of silly at first, but give it a try. Breathing in again through the nose, open the mouth, release. Once more, breathing in, open the mouth. So it might help to visualize almost like you're fogging up a mirror. So you can even bring your hand up and visualize yourself kind of fogging up a mirror like when you maybe were a kid and would fog up the car and then draw little <laughs> things in it. Um, or just that idea of kind of creating that constriction and that hissing sound and fogging. So the hand's not your thing, that's okay, but we'll try once again, breathing in, open the mouth. And so once you get the hang of that, what we're eventually going to do is close the mouth. So we'll breathe in through the nose and then we'll close the mouth. So you might bring the tip of your tongue just to the top front roof of your mouth um, and still relaxing the jaw, but kind of starting to feel a bit of constriction, bringing the awareness to the back of the throat and keeping that kind of idea in through the throat as you keep the mouth closed. So some people talk about this as a bit of like a Darth Vader noise or that hissing kind of sound. It, it will continue even with the mouth closed and it might be helpful if you're not hearing it. Um, you could even kind of cover your ears and start to really hear that kind of ocean hissing sound in the constriction through the throat. So you're kind of maybe visualizing the breath just swirling 
in and around the throat and then kind of slowly releasing out through the nose. Another way to try it also is opening the mouth and halfway through closing to continue that sound. So let's try that one time. Breathing in together, open the mouth and then close halfway and continue. So again, we never want to be stressing or straining the breath, but just kind of practice and play around with this because it's sort of strange at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's really nice and very soothing and calming, I find. So try a couple more times, breathing in. Exhale. Maybe trying this time to cover the ears, breathing in. Seeing if you can notice that ocean sound. One more time, maybe you can try without opening the mouth and just go straight um, to a closed mouth the entire time. So breathing in through the nose and out. Another thing is you don't really need to try and make this really loud. You don't need to be the loudest person in the room. And often this is a, a technique that you might hear others doing in class, in a, in a physical practice. And yeah, the goal is not to necessarily be the loudest person doing the ujjayi breath, um, but it's whatever feels good for you and just brings you that kind of calm sound that you can focus your attention on. So we'll just do a few more breaths this way. And just remember not to force anything and just keep it natural and explore. So closing the eyes, breathing in and finding your own pace. Inhale. And then just let your breath come back to a natural rhythm. Noticing how you feel. can gently flutter the eyes open when you're ready. You might notice that the more you practice this, you might also start to find and hear that ocean sound on the inhale as well as the exhale. And you might find some natural um, pausing or holding at the beginning or end of the inhale and exhale, um, breath retention or gumbaka. So just a fun breathing technique. Hopefully it helps you feel a little bit calm and maybe you can start to include it in your yoga practice. Thanks so much for joining today. Have a beautiful day. Peace.